So I just got back from getting snacks and he said the bus was gonna leave at like 145. But uh, Liz was talking to him and they said, if you wanna go now, the bus leaves from the station in four minutes. <laughs> and uh, now we're hustling those four minutes to the station, which is right in front of us here. Right there, that big building. So I'm pretty sure we'll make it. I hope too. Uh, otherwise, we got an hour and we just walk back. Whew. All right, so I got back with the snacks. And uh, we made it to the bus station in time. They said either 15 minutes or 50 minutes. It's really hard to uh, to understand sometimes the difference between 15 and 50. Um, but um, we made it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> So the guy just came, asked us to pay, and apparently we would have had to share this one bed in order for it to be five hundred thousand. Um, but because we're using two beds in the bus, it's it was going to be a million. Uh, but I said, okay, well she can get in here with me, and we'll make five hundred thousand. <laughs> and he says, "I'll let you, uh, I'll let you guys stay in separate cabins for now, but <laughs> and only do five hundred thousand. So that was quite interesting." Okay, so we made it to the bus station. Now, I make it a, a, a deal never to book a hotel until we get off the bus because you never know where they're gonna drop you off. So, let's go find a hotel. Yeah. And if you see all those guys behind me, those are the people that uh, are sitting there waiting to be your taxi. They're always gonna charge you more, so walk about two blocks from the uh, bus station and then go ahead and get a taxi. There's more over here. So we literally just walked around the corner from the bus station and uh, found this hotel. Oops, and I dropped the card. Second floor, please. <laughs> I already pushed the button. Oh, there's a screen in this one. Ooh, it's so coffee. Uh, so literally, we walked around the corner um, and found this uh, hotel. I'll put the name at the bottom of the screen and asked the lady how much for a room for the night. She said two hundred fifty thousand, which is ten dollars. And we're looking for room two hundred four. Oh, two hundred four. Yeah. 
And so I asked her if we could look at the room first, and uh, that's what we're doing now. Ooh, yeah, let's send them in first. You want to turn the lights on? Yeah. There we go. Okay. How much was it? $250? Yeah, ten dollars a night. Um, Wardrobe. Um, do a quick bed bug check. Is it rock hard? Uh, it's pretty hard. Um, Bathroom. Attached bathroom with a wet bath. We hate wet baths because if you're wearing socks, your socks get dirty. <clears throat> Doing our bed bug check here. It's definitely dirty. Here. Um, I've seen plenty on, on Reddit. You want to pull that up so I can slide this over? Check. Okay. Alright, we're going to do a quick check. <laughs> that fan was making the dust move. Uh, I think it's okay. There's like something brown here, but I think it's food. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of. What? Kind of gross in here. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the top of the bed seems clean. Yeah. I could get through a night here. Just one? Yeah. Okay, so we just uh, walked around the corner again and found this room for 200000 a night. Uh, it's got a little attached bathroom. And again, this is just right down the street. And 200000 is about $4. No. $8 a night. Miss We. Wo Di Shi J? Yeah. Okay. Proper tour. Here's the bathroom. Again, wet bath. Um, got plug ins over here, plug ins over there. It's got a TV. Um, let's get the hot water you gotta turn on before you uh, take a shower. Two beds, pass the bed bug check. Um, this is the lock for the door. <laughs> but don't forget the very be Don't forget the very best part. <laughs> it is the outer space sheets. They're like kinda out of this world. That's right, and the minion pillows. Oh what? <laughs> That are probably not real minions. I don't know. It says pickable. <coughs> what? It says pickable. Oh. Pickable. It probably despicable me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So not bad for eight dollars a night. Um, this looks better than the ten dollar a night place. Yeah. It has uh, an AC and a fan. Yeah, and a ceiling fan. Um, was a sweet old lady that checked us in. They did take my passport. Um, I'm not sure if they're just taking a picture of it or if they're keeping it until we're done. Um, yeah, we need to get the passport back. Well, yeah. Yeah. But it may be like, like a, a motorbike rental here where you give them one of your passports. I don't know. Maybe. Either way, we'll be getting it back for sure. But uh, now, let's go get something to eat. It's dinner time. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Let's go. And we're only halfway to our destination. We're actually going to uh, Bobby Lake, but let's check out the town of Taiwan. Taiwan? Yeah. Let's see what kind of food they have. It looked like they had lots of options. Yeah. And I know I'm, spelling, I'm saying win wrong, but that's just the easiest and quickest way to say it for That's us. Hard to say. Yes. These steps feel so sketchy. Yeah. Did you get it to lock? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, the bus station is right there. That motorbike is carrying a lot of stuff. And like, this seems like the main street. My camera's got some weird stuff going on with the lights at night. It's because my glass is cracked. All right, so we stopped at this little uh, shop here uh, for some rice dinner. You know, getting fish and eggs due to a little miscommunication. And uh, so then we asked for chicken instead of fish, and we ended up getting fish and chicken. So uh, we've each had a bite of the fish, and it seems good so far. And that was, so we got rice, egg, um, we got like this um, coleslaw. Oh, oh, that's that good? good. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and a soup. So we're gonna dig in, and everything we've tried so far, everything we've tried so far, is good. Super flavorful. Yeah. I tried the. I gotta try the chicken. Mm. That chicken just fell off of there. You good? Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it. It's really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. No, the egg, I'm not sure if it's like an aged egg. Um, it's brown. So I don't know, like. <laughs> Almost dropped that on the floor. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's check it out. It's hard to eat with chopsticks. It is hard to eat with chopsticks. How is it? It's good. It's just like a regular egg. Okay. It's been cooked a little longer than usual, but it's good. Okay. All right, we're going to finish this up because uh, everybody's looking at us because we're filming. So that was uh, 70K for both of them, 35K each. Which was an amazing deal. We expected it to be way more than that. So that's awesome. Yeah. I'm full. Yeah, that was like a good dinner. So we're literally walking down some dark alleys here in Taiwan. Just uh, taking a little after dinner walk, trying to see the sights. So it is much darker than it looks on camera, but uh, we still have never really found ourselves feeling unsafe. The only time we feel unsafe is when there's vicious attack dogs. <laughs> it's a puppy puppy. I know, it is a cute puppy. <laughs> but uh, there have been a couple of dogs that bark at us that uh, do seem a little Hello. sketchy. Hello! Yeah, like literally that, everybody that drives by us, well, not everybody, just a lot of people. Um, it's, they just say hello, watch out. See, not everybody, but like people will come out of their houses and stuff and just, you know, yell hello at us during the daytime. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like, it's like being a local celebrity. It's like the Vietnamese version of like Mr. Rogers. Like we just need some sweaters and some nice shoes. Yeah. And just go walk around the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is. All right, I gotta check the map to see which one of these directions to go. My guess is left though. The but let's flag. see. Yeah, there's the Vietnam flag. It was left, like I assumed. But yeah, so if we just stop for a second, and you guys listen? 
except for the Cho. <laughs> so peaceful here. You wouldn't know that just right over there was a main street with lots and lots of horns honking and stuff. But it's kind of nice just going on a little nightly walk. It's only like 6.30 p.m. here, so it's not even like middle of the night. Is that a bat? That is a bat. Yeah. Uh, just flew above our heads. Which means there's bugs here. So do you think that Count Dracula in Vietnamese counts in Vietnamese and he's like, mope? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hi. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> oh, here comes a motorcycle. It's a beautiful uh, mural on this wall here. But yeah, Vietnam just feels safe to us. Um, never really worried about walking around after dark, taking a, a dark alley, or if you've seen one of our previous lives, just walking into somebody's house randomly on accident <laughs> in Hanoi. Um, but yeah. Vietnam is just a beautiful little place. It's actually not very little. We just rode a bus for five hours today. <laughs> Every time we get on a bus, it's like five hours, it seems. It does seem, yeah, that's like our average bus ride. So it makes me feel like we're, we're missing so much, but you really can't see it all. No. Nobody has enough time in their lives to see it all. And... It's kind of unfortunate because I would love to see it all. Nice little uh, garden. A little pinch. Oh yeah, a playing card. On the ground. Every town we've been to in Vietnam has playing card on the ground. Just randomly. <laughs> Um, I think we probably go this way. I'll check the map again. That thing just says go. You can't even see that. Go! On Google Maps this is a dead end, but it is not. Brought us out to a street. So we just looked up what go was. And go is a supermarket. This place is giant. Like when they say supermarket, they mean supermarket. <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully it's not a members only. <laughs> All right, so it ends up, it's more of a mall than a supermarket. Wow. <laughs> So just in the corner of this mall, there's an art display, and look at some of these pictures. Beautiful.
they got shopping carts, so maybe this is a supermarket. It's so awkward for us uh, filming inside a uh, a mall or something. It's just, I don't know. When there's a lot of people around, it's hard to film. Yeah. Yeah. So. Makes you feel like a weirdo. It does, it like, really does. Yeah. I have a lot of mad respect for vloggers. I know we're vloggers ourselves, but we're usually like out in the woods and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but like. Like vloggers, vloggers in like public places, but then again, those vloggers usually hang out in public places too, so yeah. they're probably used to it. Yeah. Am I, I, I feel like I'm blocking the entire aisle here. <laughs> so we just entered this supermarket in the mall and... Uh, Something weird happened. They zip tied Liz's purse. So, they closed it shut, so what if I was the only one that could pay? Yeah, I know, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a way to keep crime down. Is that a sign we're in a bad neighborhood? Oh, I wonder if that is. Or maybe it's just something they do for everybody. I'm so tempted to get this shirt. Like, do you like it? Avocado. Avocado. Like, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. You know what's awesome about the rodeo? The rodeo crowns. <laughs> Always be humble and kind. I don't know if you guys tried this stuff or if it's available in your area, but I know what I'm buying when I get back to America. This Chinsu hot sauce is delicious. And it looks like they have many different flavors. Like I don't know if it's delicious on other foods other than like noodles and rice. It's good enough for me. All right, well, that was a grocery store and a mall in one. Um, it was interesting. So things we noticed in the grocery store, they had larger sizes for clothes. Um, they had, everything was so bright and airy in there. Yeah, and I actually saw some clothes that might fit me. And um, they had a lot of food choices, but they didn't have any like, you know when you go to the grocery store, you have like an ethnic session, section of food with uh, like, you know, like Mexican food, Indian food, Japanese food, um, Korean, Chinese, you know, an, an ethnic food section is what they call it. Uh, here, there's a few like Korean, Japanese, and other things mixed in, but there is no tortillas in that entire place. I'm disappointed. That <laughs> carload of people just drove by and all the faces were like pressed against the window. <laughs> <laughs> we're standing on a main road here yeah. too. But, uh, well, I mean, Still pretty cool place, pretty big. Um, interesting how they zip tied Liz's purse shut like she was a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they do that to everybody that comes in. Yeah, so. anybody carrying a bag. Because the lady, the security guard uh, lady, when she cut off her, her thing, had a handful of zip ties. So um, Liz said maybe that's a sign we're in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I mean, one would think, but it doesn't seem like a bad neighborhood, but yeah. you know. And we also noticed that there's nothing else on this street, like as far as we can see. Yeah. So, quite interesting. Oh, they had, they had water here. Oh, they had water here? Yeah. He's talking on the phone. Yeah. Um, so we got some bananas and some 
sort of jelly stuff uh, from our our hotel people. That looks interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might be grass jelly. Okay, so we hopped on this bus after going to the bus station and the lady there says that there's no more buses going to Bobby. But then she, like after a while, back and forth, she makes a phone call. And then what happens is this guy comes in, doesn't say anything to us, and uh, we follow him outside and then we come to this bus that says Bobby in the front of it. But we read online that, um, that you shouldn't take those because it'll take you like not directly there and then you have to pay a big fee to actually get to Bobby Lake. So... Uh, they both say Bobby Lake, but uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Yeah, we both don't have a good feeling, and I don't know if we should get off this bus right now, or if we should just take the gamble, because it's just our perception, and I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what else. I mean, what is it? Three hundred thousand we're paying for this. Yeah. Um, which is like twelve dollars, <coughs> which is a lot of money over here. So. Yeah. I mean, that's almost as much as we just paid for go five hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Still cheaper than what the guy tried to charge us yesterday. Yeah. So if we could get to Bobby Lake, it's a deal. I guess, yeah. Compared to that. You know, even if this bus doesn't get us all the way there, it'll get us to somewhere new that we've never been. And uh, I like the fact that nobody else is on this bus, too. Yeah. It really says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know. I don't know when it's leaving. Really. It's supposed to be 40. 40 after? Yeah. Dang, I don't know how they do that. They stop it right on every time. Well, that was fun. Uh, we got off the bus at this hotel. Guy met us outside. Said it was $12 a night to stay. Um, beds are hard like they were last night, which was very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have a room for at least tonight. Uh, we are doing laundry upstairs uh, in their washing machine, and we're going to hang dry our stuff. 
but they charge us two dollars to do laundry ourselves. Well, they like, haven't really charged us that yet. Yeah. So I don't know if that's what they're going to be, but it could be two dollars to do our laundry. Um, yeah, uh, and then we have a view outside our window here, which I can show you a little bit better in just a second. There's a view outside our hotel. That's pretty epic, isn't it? Wow. So we are just outside the National Park. Like, this is the last hotel before you get inside the National Park. There's Wi-Fi here. It's decently fast. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's not a bad place. A little garden back here. Um, look, at that Rick, uh, look at that rock face. Your chicken's cooing. Uh, the guy that checked us in said this is a, a Thai village. Um, and he says that he is Thai himself. So, pretty cool. I gotta get a picture of this though. I forgot to show you guys the bathroom. Now I get to show you what happened when I was leaving the last bathroom in the last hotel. I smashed my head real hard. Right there. That hurt so bad. Like it floored me. <laughs> I'm too tall for this country. Sometimes. <laughs> it dropped you to your knees. It did. Oh, I thought... I, I Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a concussion. It was hard hit. Ouch. So we're at the rooftop of the uh, hotel here. And the park entrance is literally right there. So that is what the inside of Bobby Lake Park looks like. Bobby Lake National Park. Pretty cool. Gonna go check that out in a little while. Waiting on our laundry. This is where we were gonna hang it when we're done. Come here, guys. Look what I found. Sweet. That's a giant brain mantis getting ready to jump. That thing is giant. Welcome to the jungle, baby. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Dude. What other kind of bugs are that? So in Vietnam, everybody's got washing machines, but no dryers. <clears throat> What's weird is the washing machine just kind of dumps on the floor here and then goes down a little drain there. But uh, this is their clothes dryer. It's this big open area on the roof. So there's the entrance to the National Park right there. But look how beautiful this is. looking out front of the hotel and uh, this is the hotel's name and they're charging 300 a night for the two of us which is this much here just over 12 bucks right now 
Um, which is not bad. There's places in the park though that are about six dollars a night for homestay. So there's that. <laughs> so uh, we're out going for a walk, looking for something to eat, and we just we just ended up walking through the gate of the national park because nobody was there. And it looks like this is the beginning of the national park administration building and such. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a few uh, tourist vans going by, but they're not stopping at the gates either. So, I don't know how that works. But we're here. We're in the park. We're going for a walk. And, uh, yeah. Great. What's this up here? Let's check it out. I keep hearing stuff in the bushes too. I think this is probably a map, a 3D map of the uh, the national park. Which, if this is a 3D map of the national park, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Looks like there's roads. And then that's probably where the lake is. Huh. And uh, it's locked up. This mountain has a giant lock on it. <laughs> Looks like this road here goes down through the lake. Oh, there's an old water wheel right here. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, I'm sure at one time this was just like a pretty cool place. There's a tennis court and a fire pit over here. It says Bobby Adventure Race from January of last year. At the hotel when we got there, uh, it's where the van turned around and, and surprisingly he brought us out all the way out to Bobby National Park, like right to the gate. And uh, that's where we turned around. So the hotel guy came out and said, oh, do you guys have a place to stay? Blah, blah, blah. And uh, we're like, no, how much is it? And he said, uh, 300,000 for both of you a night. And I said, okay, that sounds reasonable. We, we talked about it for a little bit first between each other, though. And then uh, he said that uh, for, he had several different prices, but he said for 1.2 million, which is like 50 bucks, um, he could take us on his boat for a four hour boat, four and a half hour boat ride to explore the entire lake, which it's a big lake. Um, it would be quite the adventure. It, it would be like. quite the adventure, yeah. So we're thinking about it, because 1.2 million is a lot of money, but we might be able to swing that, thanks to you guys. So, I'll let you know, oh my lord, this is beautiful here. Check this out. Look at, look at the, the, just look at it. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. I'm going to reenact that because that was pretty cool. So I was like, oh, we're 47 miles from Cho Ra, which is down that road, which is the road. Our hotel's down, which is the way we came in. And then we were like, oh, wow. Look at this tree. That is amazing. Um, can you walk over for scale? Yeah. Back yeah, but that is giant. Uh, that palm leaf is at least four feet across. <laughs> That's huge. We are definitely in the jungle. Just walked up a 
Big old hill. Check out this rock face. So it says there's a cave up here. Two kilometers. That's a bit of a walk. Yeah, that's something to do on a day where we have more daylight left. Yeah, we don't have enough time today, but I like that it says, take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but your time, keep nothing but memories. That's pretty cool. We do need bikes. And there's a cell tower. Yeah, the cell service here is pretty good. It doesn't look like it's been used in forever. Just came across a little building, probably a maintenance facility, I would assume. I don't know, but let's keep going. Here's our first view of this lake. Oh my gosh. Epic. All right, so we walked down to the bottom. Don't mind the beeping noise of the bus behind us, but check this out. first day here we walked a few miles um, down to the the boat launch and as soon as we got to the boat bye. launch bye bye oh, kids on the bike uh, introduced themselves to us as soon as we got to the boat launch we were immediately bombarded with offers for boat tours which it's understandable I mean we look like tourists, we are kind of tourists. We're in a touristy area, they're gonna offer us to do touristy things. Um, but then we went to try and get some food and they didn't film it, but this lady uh, unwrapped one of her banana leaf things and uh, offered it to us. And we were like, no, 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 no. And uh, she's like, try, try, you know, try. And she gave one to uh, to Liz, and then she gave another one to me, and then uh, we were like, "Oh, okay." So since she let us try this thing, we're gonna we're gonna buy something for her. So we bought we offered to buy two bananas from her, and uh, she's like, "Oh, two bananas, five five thousand BND, five thousand dong," um, and uh, handed over the five thousand dong. And then she immediately demanded a 10,000 dong for the two things she let us try. So we we're like, nope, and just walked away, leaving the 5,000 dong with her because whatever. It's, it's a couple cents. And the bananas, unfortunately. Now we're in the middle of the jungle with no food, no way to get food, and it's getting late. We don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk all the way back to the hotel up a steep hill. And it's getting dark. Wish us luck. So we found this place um, just inside the park. It's actually a resort full of mosquitoes, but we're having some fun. Place good. I can't believe we found a place to eat. Like, there's this huge, like, palace of a restaurant. And yeah, look hotel. at this place. Nobody <laughs> Nobody's here. It's just you and me. Yeah. We got some tea and we got a table for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's just me and you. <laughs> So this is our pho that we got. 
They gave us forks. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. there's bugs inside the light. Yeah. It's a pretty smart place to get it. <clears throat> Alright, that was 60 or 165k for two fuzz and Liz's salted lime. It was a um Chin moi, which is a, like a salted limeade. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. I'm glad that we didn't have to go to bed hungry. Me too. Or hangry. <laughs> yes. Um, and we have a bottle of water, a Wait. tiny one at that. Yes. But I think we have enough resources to make it to the morning. It's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just winging life right now, guys. Yeah. We're taking you along for the ride. You know, van life was so different because you have, it's your home. You have everything you need in it all the time. And you can, like, pack extra food and all this. When you're out of a backpack, you just, like, you have some basics. And once you run out, you've got to find more. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.